Hey everybody, thanks for clicking on Liz The One TV. I'm your girl, Liz The One. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for your girl. So pretty much today, I wanna come on here and talk about Lil' Kim. I'm gonna hop right into it. So I know you guys seen this picture of her or the video of her at the BET Awards, honey. The 2022 BET Awards. And honey, I just had to hang my head down like, why? Just why? So Lil' Kim is um, probably about one of three videos that I need to get off my chest today because... Um, I've been writing down videos and topics all week. So this is video one of today. You're probably going to get like two more of them from me. So topic one, Lil' Kim and body dysmorphia. So when I was a kid, Lil' Kim used to look like this. I know you guys see this going across your screen. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. She was different. Um, her skin, she was, to me, she was flawless. We all used to walk around with like the little wigs and the, the fake, you know, we're not just walking around like in fashion, but you know, we used to all like pretend to be Lil' Kim with the wigs and the, the crush on you fur. Like it, Lil' Kim had some bangers and she looked like this. She was gorgeous, right? Fast forward to 2022 and I'm watching the BET Awards and this is what I see. What the hell? And then I go online and you know, there are the memes comparing her to a leprechaun or an Oompa Loompa. Um, and I'm just looking at this like, what the hell? And so little Kim has something that I like to call body dysmorphia. Now she, I don't know if she's been diagnosed, but she needs to see somebody ASAP. So let's just go over what body dysmorphia is. And I believe that she fits this to the T. So if you Google body dysmorphia, um, also called BDD, the overview says it's a mental illness involving obsessive focus on a perceived flaw in appearance. The flaw may be minor or imagined, but the person may spend hours a day trying to fix it. The person may try many cosmetic procedures or exercise to excess. Now, it, based off of what I see, when you go from this to this, she's had many cosmetic procedures okay now remember she got pissed off at notori not and for playing her on um the notorious big movie but Lil Kim used to be this complexion and there was absolutely nothing wrong with her complexion. She was absolutely beautiful. Now fast forward to 2022 this is her complexion. Fast forward to the BET awards you up here looking like this right so let's go over the symptoms of body dysmorphic disorder or BDD. It says requires a medical diagnosis. Now, I am unaware if little Kim has been medically diagnosed, but I do believe she needs to see someone. It says people with this disorder may frequently examine their appearance in a mirror, constantly compare their appearance with that of others and avoid social situations or photos. Now, she doesn't avoid social situations or photos, but I do believe that um, people have said a lot in cross reference between her and Nicki Minaj. So I do believe now. Um, she went out and got a BBL for that purpose because when you look at the finances part of it, Little Kim just kind of came up out of bankruptcy and Nicki Minaj has over a hundred million dollars. When you look at the numbers that Cardi B is doing, um, they're getting banked to what compared to what Lil Kim used to get, and she's really the pioneer of uh, you know, like this sort of rap, like raunchy rap, like you see what I'm saying. Now, it says people may experience the mood, anxiety, or general discomfort, also unwanted thoughts, compulsive behavior, or depression. So, based off of, I, I see that she's into skin bleaching. She's had a number of cosmetic procedures done on her body. These hips. Um, it says that the treatments for this... and. You know, I'm not a doctor, but it says that the treatments for this may include counseling and antidepressant medication. I don't know if she's depressed or not, but you have got to be depressed to mess up your body in this capacity. And it says the therapies, behavior therapy, psychotherapy, and cognitive behavior therapy, right? And the medications include SSRIs, and SSRIs are serotonin reuptake re inhibitors. Okay, and it says... Uh, there's a lot of news about it. And then um, specialists, clinical psychologists, 
which treats mental disorders primarily uh, walk with talk therapy. Psychiatrist treats mental disorders primarily with medications. Um, so if she ever sees this video, and I don't know if she will, maybe she will um, take that into consideration. Now let me type this in. Let's get a little more information on little Kim. Um, the photos that pop up of her are just not right, okay? And it says that, you know, of course, her Wikipedia pops up. Her name is Kimberly Denise Jones, and she's 47 years old. And I think that with her being 47 years old, um, with her already having body dysmorphic disorder and her already starting to manipulate her appearance in her 30s, and now she looks like this, it's a problem. And she's only four foot 11. So to have hips that huge um, and a rear end that huge at four foot 11 is not okay. Now, it, she does have a child. Um, but I think that not addressing what Lil' Kim looks like right now is not okay for Lil' Kim. Now, Lil' Kim was always unique. Now, of course, with her performance, you know, she came out, you know, she did her dances and her dances were always like out cold. You see what I'm saying? But I think to overlook this and what's happening um, is a problem. Now, notice that a lot of these people that have BBLs, which are ridiculous, I wish I would stop getting them. A lot of these people that have BBLs are not really getting their face messed with. Okay, they're just getting their rear end messed with. So that way they can get the BBL taken out later because if you notice that most of the people that had BBLs and had like came up off the BBL industry, a lot of them are having reverse surgery. So now they just look normal and they haven't tampered with their faces, but they had their fake butts taken out. You see what I'm saying? Um, I think that in a few years, if she's not already right now, she is going to regret this. Now, I think that Madonna also, who was in her 60s, which is ridiculous doing this. I believe that Madonna also has some sort of body dysmorphic disorder. It's either that or you love too much damn attention. You were the it girl all those years and you can't just let it go and, you know, be your age. So I'm just going to leave that right there. But it's enough with the BBLs and with her and it's not just the BBL. Like when you examine her in this photo, she's had her cheeks done. She's looking like the cat lady. You see what I'm saying? She's had her cheeks done. Um, I, I believe boobs, uh, waistline, uh, hip. Like it, it just looks bad at this point. So I just wanted to come on here and say that I believe, this is my opinion, I believe that Lil' Kim has body dysmorphic disorder. And I'm going to leave that there because I have two other videos to do today. So you guys, make sure you hit the like, subscribe button. Um, and that's that. Thanks for clicking on Liz The One TV. I'm your girl, Liz The One. Peace out.